This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with two quick fixes for skinny bar charts and skinny column charts, which is a question I recently had during one of my live training seminars from an analyst at HSBC. So this is a great chance for you to practice developing your PowerPoint eyes so that you can spot these in your own slides, in your colleagues' slides, in your boss's slides, and know exactly how to fix them. So let's quickly take a look at the issues. And the first issue is a gap with issue, which you can always tell because your columns or your bars are gonna perfectly line up over your years or your cap categories, which is different than the hidden data issue or what I'll call the HD issue where your years or categories don't perfectly line up over your columns or your bars. So this is a gap width issue. Again, notice that for 2011, the $108 billion that Apple did in sales lines up perfectly where the hidden data issue, you can see there's something stuck here. So that is going to be your clue. On a column chart, this again is developing your eye. You can see the columns perfectly line up over my years or my categories versus the hidden data issue where you can see all of that data rotates to the left because I basically have hidden data, so HD hidden data stuck inside of my graph. Now, before I show you how to fix both of these issues, you might be wondering what's wrong with skinny charts in the first place. In my mind, skinny charts, skinny column charts and skinny bar charts simply look like pasta noodles that you're presenting with your data instead of just fattening or thickening them up for these larger charts, which I think look much better for your dashboards, your client deliverables, etc. Again, if I click between these two slides, these are the skinny charts. These are the fattened up charts. I think these always look best. So let's look at how to fix them. So the first issue for skinny charts is gap width. And I recommend always using a 50% to a 75% gap width, which I think always looks best. And the easiest way to get your gap width here in PowerPoint is control one on your keyboard. So let's first fix this issue with a bar chart. And again, developing your PowerPoint eye, you can see that my categories or my years are lining up directly with my bars. So let me just come in here to PowerPoint. Here in PowerPoint, to use the Control-1 keyboard shortcut, you simply select the series and just hit Control-1 on your keyboard, which is going to open up these Format Data Series dialogs boxes. And I'm just going to float mine here on the left. And you can immediately see that the default gap width that came in is 219%. Or right, if you don't like to use keyboard shortcuts, you can also select your series, come up to the Chart Format tab, and come and click Format Selection. Clicking Format Selection is the same as hitting Control-1 on your keyboard. For a gap width, I recommend 50% is probably my favorite, all right, which immediately thickens up those skinny bar charts. I also have seen people who like, or managers who like 75%. This is a stylistic difference. I really like 50%, so I'm just gonna select 50%. I'm gonna close out of the dialog box. I'll hit Shift F5, and you can see I no longer have those skinny bar charts. The same is true if we fix our skinny column charts. And again, just developing our eye, you're just looking at your years or your categories. Do they perfectly line up? If they do, this is a gap width issue, a GW issue. I'll come into PowerPoint to fix it. Again, this control one keyboard shortcuts works for any type of chart here in PowerPoint or Excel. I simply select my series, hit control one on my keyboard. You can see the format data series dialog box opens. There's a series overlap, which we don't care about here. Here, we're just concerned about the gap width. I will change it to 50%, hit enter. The columns thicken up. I'll close out of the dialog box and I'll hit shift F5. So that is the gap width issue. Next, let's look at the hidden data issue, which is something that I see in more and more people's charts, just accidentally leaving hidden data or hidden numbers inside of their Excel chart, which again, influences the thickness of your charts. Here on the next slide, I have an example of hidden data for our bar chart. And again, developing your PowerPoint eye, notice that these years don't perfectly line up with the bars. This is a hint and a half that someone has left hidden numbers inside of the Excel spreadsheet. And that's what's pushing these bar charts and making them so skinny. If I come in here to PowerPoint and just right click my chart and select edit data, I'm going to open up the underlying Excel spreadsheet and you can immediately see the problem. I'll just resize this a little bit. Notice that as someone inserted this chart, PowerPoint gave them a bunch of dead data. They simply selected the data, hit delete, and then added Apple's revenue numbers, but they didn't filter out these blank columns. You can see that as soon as I filter them out, that the columns get a little bit bigger or the bars get a little bit bigger. I personally prefer when you have a situation like this, instead of just filtering out the data, I will simply select the columns of data I don't want, right click and hit delete. That's going to rotate all of the numbers. If I just shift F5 for a second, that's going to rotate all the numbers or the bars directly over the top of the years. So I've made them a little bit thicker. This now becomes a hidden data plus gap width issue. So we need to fix both. So we've deleted the hidden data. Now we just need to cycle through and fix the gap width, which you already know how to do. 
If I come into PowerPoint, I simply select my series, hit Control-1 on my keyboard. It's gonna open up that Format Data Series dialog box. The gap width is 200%. I'm gonna make this one 75% so we can see what that looks like. I hit Enter. The gap width has changed. The hidden data is deleted and we're done. If I go to the next slide, again, we have that same issue. You're just looking at the years or your categories and notice that it doesn't perfectly line up. This again is a hidden data issue. We simply right click our chart, come into edit data. We're gonna have the same situation here. Someone has deleted out the dud data from the PowerPoint chart, but they haven't filtered it out. They haven't clicked this little resizing handle over or they haven't just deleted out the columns of information, which is immediately going to square up the data over the product categories. So the hidden data is gone. Now we just need to adjust the gap width. I'll hit control one. You can see the gap width is 200%. I'm gonna make it 75%. I'll hit enter. The gap width is adjusted. I'll hit shift F5 and there you go. So your two quick fixes for skinny column charts and bar charts. The first one is to adjust your gap width. The fastest way to do that is control one on your keyboard. So select your series, hit control one, and then change your gap width to something between 50% to 75% is what I find usually looks best for PowerPoint presentations. The second fix is to delete or remove whatever hidden data someone has left inside of your Excel spreadsheet. This will probably additionally trigger a gap width adjustment issue. So if you do have hidden data, you're gonna delete the hidden data and then you're gonna adjust your gap width. And again, the reason why we're fixing our skinny column charts and our skinny bar charts is we don't want them to look like spaghetti noodles inside of our client deliverables. So again, these are the spaghetti noodle charts. These are the ones that are thickened up or fattened up, however you wanna think about it. If you're new to our channel and want to subscribe to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets and other free courses, just look for the links directly below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.